Happy New Year, guys. Welcome back. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. January 1st, 2021. I want to start out with A Course in Miracles. I've introduced this before, and it has a workbook that I mentioned that every day uh, for 365 days, it has a lesson. So I want to start with the first lesson today, but give you a little bit of an overview on it. Um, the Course in Miracles we've talked about, and um, there's a spiritual teacher. Her name is um, Pen Grout. She wrote um, several books, and she has a New York Times bestseller, E Squared. But she wrote a, a book on The Course in Miracles called The Course in Miracles Experiment that makes it really simple to apply and to, and to um, follow the lessons. She, she makes it fun, simple, and very understandable. So I recommend that book. I'll leave a link below. But let's talk about A Course in Miracles. Um, even Pam says this. Pam uses the dude for, for God, but, but in The Course in Miracles, it says God has no name. So we talk about God, but we talk about God as, as uh, that first substance, that first cause, that divinity, that substance that includes everything and everything in between. So we talk about it as the quantum field, the divine matrix, all there is, the field of infinite possibilities, whatever you want to call it, it's that energy, it's that substance, that divinity, that love that includes all things. So I have no issues, guys, calling it God, and I use God interchangeably. Pam doesn't. She thinks there's a lot of heaviness or, or baggage with God. Maybe there is, but she calls it the dude. But even the Course of Miracles says God has no name. Course of Miracles use God and, and Holy Spirit a lot, but, they, but the, the idea here is that they, they don't ascribe to any religious belief dogma or belief, belief system. It's just a belief in, so that's what I like about The Course of Miracles. It's not a Christian book. It's not a uh, Islam book. It's not a, it's a, it doesn't subscribe to any specific religious belief, uh, but, but the belief in this divinity, in this, in this field of infinite potential that we're all made of. And that I like a lot, guys. So it's the oneness. It's the all there is. That's God, right? So the higher self or that inner being, that's our connection to God, right? That's what I, I talk about quite a bit. But what does the Course guarantee? The Course basically tries to uh, uh, reverse the, the false beliefs that we have, the false beliefs about what reality really is. Reality uh, is, is that love, is that the real reality is that truth, that, that, that divinity. Everything else, guys, in this manifested world, we've made up, right? We've created. With, through that divinity, God became us so we could become God. So this is what, it, that's, this is what the Course of Miracles uh, is essentially doing, is getting you to get to, to connect with that, only, that one reality, that one love. And so it's a brilliant, uh, it's a brilliant work. It's, a, it's something to add to your, to your uh, spiritual practices if you haven't. Essentially, it's about letting go. Just surrendering to that higher you, surrendering to that divinity. Why? Because the stories we've made up are one of lack and suffering and struggle, right? This is, this is what the Course in Miracles tries to help you eliminate those false beliefs by, by just believing in that truth of who we are, that love. And they guarantee that perfect peace and joy are our inheritance. It's your inheritance. That's my inheritance, your inheritance. This is what we are. So when you take away from all the, the physical reality and, and the pain and the lack and the suffering that we've created, underneath that is that love, is that God uh, power. Lesson one, which would be today, they say, to say, they say to repeat this, nothing I see means anything. So this is the idea that, it, that none of this means anything because we've created it. It's not the real truth of who we are. So, they, so it's, it's, they're um, kind of trying to re get you to reverse your thinking on this and, and think about the truth underneath it, that love underneath it, right? Getting in touch with that divine connection. So they, they ask you to repeat this for a minute or so. And, um, and so the, the, the lessons are really easy to follow. Pam's book's great for this. She gives you a little blurb about the lesson. And then, and then talks a little bit about the lesson. Really easy to understand and great to follow. Um, she also has a quote in there. You are, the, you are a miracle. This comes out of A Course in Miracles. Capable of creating in the likeness of your creator. 
So you're a miracle capable of creating in the likeness of your creator, right? This is, this is who we are, not that lack, not that suffering, not, not the struggle that you think, think of that you are, not all the competing and the defending and trying to prove you're right. It's not about excluding, it's not about limitations. Uh, you know, whatever your beliefs are, this, this welcomes all beliefs. It doesn't exclude anyone, it doesn't judge anyone, it doesn't judge the judging. <laughs> so if you have a belief of something and you're judging, we wouldn't even judge the judging, right? It's total non-judgment, total welcome, right, to, this, to, to who you really are. Very powerful, guys. This is really what we talk about every day with different spiritual teachings, Neville Goddard, Joe Dispenza, um, all of them, right? All of them. Abraham Hicks, they all say the same thing, that we are, we, that this oneness, this one substance is, is a, we are in a being that, that, that divinity inside is, we're connected to that. And that's what the Course in Miracles tries you to, to, tries to get you to see, right? Through, for, through practicing forgiveness and so forth. So we're going to talk about, we're going to touch on the Course in Miracles. Maybe not every day, but, but every uh, now and then we'll, we'll uh, talk about it. But if you haven't done it, it's great to go through these 365 lessons. It's a new year, a new day. Add it to your spiritual teachings. This is A Course in Miracles. And um, this was, uh, it was a um, Columbian University uh, uh, professors. And this, she channeled it from her inner self, from that Christ within her. This is, this is where she got, got it from. And what I like about it, no matter what you read in this book, it sounds like truth. It's hard to disagree with it, right? It doesn't, it doesn't take, it doesn't dig in to try to force you to believe anything, right? It just, it's just, it just helping you reach that truth of who you are. That's a beautiful thing, yeah. Okay, guys, we'll talk more about that. We got a lot more to come. It's a new year. It's a new you. Let's get, let's get going on it. It's going to be fun. And um, I think it's going to be a great year. Yeah. This is Tom Karen with the V Something Wonderful Studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, share and comment and like the videos. That's how we get our message out. Until next time, this is Tom. See you soon.